taking frostbite to the car wash. Me and the little turd got him buckled up in his harness, ready to rock. You ready to get this truck clean? Huh? <laughs> you gonna clean it? You gonna clean it? No. Ain't no help. What's up Mopar fam? As you can see, we are inside Frostbite still. And we uh, we have a little bit of an update on the harness bar that we have pretty much uh, made up or fabricated, made to work for the truck. So here we go. So this is where we're at. We have the harness bar. Uh, I painted it myself with my spray gun and the uh, Duplicolor paint shop paint that you can buy at the auto zones and all that stuff um, it's already ready to spray didn't turn out too bad um, as you've seen in the previous video before we painted it that's the extension bar that goes all the way inside the original tube we have it bolted to both pillars and what's awesome is it man this thing really fits like a glove we didn't have to trim any of the original paneling out or anything the bracket literally fits out there perfectly it clears the trim it doesn't touch anything i mean it is it is awesome guys i mean it fits it fits like it was made for the truck i mean although we did make it for the truck um but yeah that's pretty awesome i welded these on um this bar did not come with these it's not a necessity but what this little bar does is it retains our straps um, so they can't slide around no more than uh, this allowed room right here So it does so it'll keep the straps from walking around on the bar and kind of keep them in place um, We got good clearance behind our uh, carpeted back panel here and uh, I mean, it's perfect guys like it's this thing's coming along really good um, the next step is gonna be making these bars that the kit came with um, what we're going to do is we're going to come off of this point here like so um, either on the outside or the inside whichever way fits better and then we're going to come down here to the seat uh, to the seat bracket um, that mounts to the floor so um, this should work out pretty good i ended up fabricating some brackets um, that i'm going to weld on the bottom of the uh, seat brackets um, and those are going to be stationary because obviously that seat frame will be bolted to the floor and it's got, not going to go anywhere And it's going to work out pretty good because we're going to have an angle about like so um, Which kind of rides along with the seat um, The way the slope the, the seat slopes back uh, The bar is kind of right in there with the seat. So you still have this usable space to get in here um, So the bar will not be in the way it will still be um, pretty much like factory um, the way the bar is gonna ride against the seat. It's gonna be pretty cool But yeah, that's where we're at um, Making progress. We're almost done Hopefully I'll be done with this thing today. We will see we're trying to get this done today without uh, Dehydrating and dying out here in the driveway. So so we got the driver's seat all done and the uh, harness installed the bar installed Everything is good to go uh, The only thing we got to do um only thing left we need to do is the uh, passenger side I gotta actually buy another harness for the passenger side um, and then then we'll be a hundred percent done but we got the driver's side all done so check it out so this is what we ended up with same seat same harness I already had and uh, this is how we attached it so you see this adjustable bar right here this is coming off of the harness bar that we fabbed up you can see how we got it connected on the passenger side over there so yep works and fits like a glove no trimming of the tr uh the actual paneling or nothing it fits in there perfect 
Um, then we come off of this little ear mount with an adjustable bar that came in the Summit kit. Like so. Try to back up a little bit. And then I welded, I actually made this bracket and welded it to the uh, bottom of the seat frame. And then we have the other end attached here, like so. So, pretty, uh, pretty easy. Really not bad, guys. Um, not bad at all. And this thing is super stout. It ain't going anywhere. We got the harnesses all strapped up on the bar on the driver's side, so we are ready to rock and roll. Um, driver's side lap belt is mounted down here at the factory uh, belt location, just like I used to have it before. And then same thing with the other strap. It's mounted on the other side where the factory seat belt buckle would be. Came out pretty, pretty jam up guys. Let's go over here to the passenger side. It is absolutely toasty down here in Georgia right now. Pretty sure I'm sunburnt. But there you go. I think the sun is more on our side this way where you guys can see a little bit better. But that's it. Pretty, uh, pretty jam up. I'm really liking it. It doesn't interfere with none of the paneling. Um, the seat goes all the way back. Plenty far enough for me. And uh, works good. So that's kind of how we have, uh, have it mounted on the driver's side as well. Again, we don't have the other seat in yet because I got to get the um, another harness. But that'll mount down on the seat frame as well. Same thing, I've already welded that bracket to the seat. And uh, yeah, matter of fact, here it is. Still have it in the back of the dingo. The dingo. So that's the bracket that I made. We actually boxed it in, so it's uh, really strong. I welded it across here, across the side, uh, across the front of it, and then across the other uh, back side of it too. So she is not going nowhere. Um, the whole frame is going to come with that buckle. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So yeah. So that's it. That's uh, pretty much how we just made this Universal Summit harness bar work for our application. Uh, some modification necessary, some welding necessary, and uh, all in all, not really that bad. Pretty easy. Um, this was a lot easier than I really thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be kind of a nightmare. Um, I was afraid that we were going to have to either trim this, uh, trim the paneling up a lot. Um, and or just have to leave it off period and just kind of have like a naked truck back here for this to work so i'm super stoked that that bar fits in there without having to cut nothing that's that is awesome i did not expect that i was hoping for that but i did not think in a million years that was actually going to happen so pretty stoked that that worked out on our side and uh hell yeah that was pretty cool so that's going to do it for today's video guys as always, stay safe out there. Give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of the finished product. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.